Welcome back, everyone, to The Daily Habit, presented by Verizon Wireless. We are now with Lakey Peterson. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I believe uh, you've been one busy surfer, right? Been trotting yeah. the globe a little bit? Yeah, just traveling a bunch. Um, just got back from Costa Rica yesterday, so... Did yeah. you score? Did you see monkeys? Did you surf? Like... Yeah, uh, there was pretty good waves. I think we could have gotten a little better, bit better, but... Um, it was really cool. I've never been down there. It's so hot. But yeah, Africa hot, and sun. you're not even in Africa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then before that, it was Australia, right? Yeah, I was in Australia, um, down there for the Roxy Pro just to watch it, and I was in the trials and stuff. So how crowded yeah. is it get there? It's not right? even funny. It's like not worth even surfing. And, down and you there. thought it's Rincon not... was crowded, right? Yeah, no. Yeah. Now I can get anyway if I want it. It's, it's a good eye opener. All right, right now we're gonna yeah. check it out. 29, 29 and a half seconds of Lakey Peterson. See, I almost didn't say it right, but it is 29 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-nine and a half. That is how you displace in some water there. I'm so angry. Why are you so angry uh, out there? I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, it's good to see the aggression. Well, let's let's get into earlier days when you were maybe a, like a happy, happy little grom. Did you start surfing real young up in Santa Barbara? Um, actually, I started. I learned to surf in Australia um, when I was about five. Our family took a trip around the world, actually, and we were in Australia for about a month. And um, yeah, I learned to surf on Manly Beach, and then. I didn't really start doing contests or anything until I was like 11 or something. But so, like so. pretty much, was it mom and dad surf? Were you kind of a water family? Yeah, How? my mom mainly yeah. surfs and my brother surfs a little, but... Does mom rip? Can yeah. we give her props? Oh, totally. Yeah. All right, I'd like to hear it. Let's, let's get in because I know there was a, like a light switch that you decided to compete. Where was that where you're like, oh, you know what, I think I'm going to start getting kind of focused with the, the surfing. Yeah, I don't know. I think um, all my friends kind of did it. I, I mainly hung out with... Guys, I still always just like hang out with guys because yeah. no girls. I'm really into sports and stuff, and not a lot of girls are like really into like surfing and all that. I heard kind you of even stuff, have quarterback so. abilities, right? You played football for a <laughs> little bit. Play flag football. That's yeah, how, but like, that's why yeah. you can like you know gouge the lip like you do. <laughs> well, let's okay, let's yeah. jump ahead. I know 2009 NSSA National Women's Open Champion. Was that the big like pivot? You know, pivot in your life where things really started to ramp up? Yeah, that was a really big turning point for me, and um, it was it was just really cool. It was, I don't know. I was kind of shocked that I won that, but I think it opened a lot of people's eyes. I could, since uh, what you're sponsored by what Nike 6.0, Roxy, yeah, and then uh, Canon sunglasses and um, Channel Islands and McDonald's. And I, I can't forget the copper medalist uh, 2010 ISA. You know, with yeah. the, the World Junior Games. Yeah, it was cool. It was What's awesome. it like surfing with the U U.S. team? Is it? It um, seems like it'd be a little different because there's more camaraderie. Yeah, it's totally different. Like. The event, the ISA event, it's really cool because it's a team event. I mean, you're, it's an individual event too, but it's almost like a totally different sport. Yeah. You know, it's totally different. I really, I really enjoy it. And um, Ian Carnes is a great coach, and it's really fun. Yeah. I enjoy it a lot. And I know you're the focus of uh, the new season, New Pollution. How was that with the, like, the cameras? Did you feel like one of the Kardashians, like your own reality <laughs> show? Or is yeah, it... no, it was really cool. Um, those guys are so fun to hang out with, and Matt Beecham was super cool also. Yeah. also so um, I had a great time. And uh, speaking of all things sponsorship, uh, you picked up a McDonald's, a corporate sponsorship. Yeah. But there's even a more interesting story here. You got some roots with uh, Mickey D's, right? Yeah, uh, my grandfather, actually, he invented the Egg McMuffin. Which is my claim to fame. So That's, yeah, I, I can tell you, I've uh, enjoyed many a McMuffin yeah. on many a morning. <laughs> They're good. They How, good. Did it, did, what's the story behind it? He just like had this idea to put. Uh, um, no, he just he always loved Egg Benedict, uh -huh. and um, he was just super into cooking and food, and owned yeah. the McDonald's already, and decided that they needed breakfast in the morning because people wanted cheeseburgers before they went to work. Right. They'd come knock on the door, so. Uh, he just thought it was a perfect handheld. They just got to figure out how to supersize it. Yeah. Bigger <laughs> eggs or something. Yeah. And I know you uh, you surf with Channel Islands, right? Yep. But yep. you do some shaping on the side, which I don't even know how you have the time for. But yeah. Tell us about how the shaping's coming along. Yeah, it's cool. This My friend Ryan just has a warehouse and he shapes in there and um, he let me come down and I've, I shape two boards. But they're just, they're not really like, they're not high performance boards. They're just. Um, no, it's no proton, right? No. no. <laughs> but he's no like proton. your sensei, your little Padawan, and he's like in yeah. there giving you the, the skills to. Make some little fishes and whatnot, so it's fun. I really like it. Yeah. It's cool. 
And I know you're on a, a crazy arc on your way up in professional surfing, but uh, any, any free trips? What's the, what are the plans for the summer? Um, well, hopefully I'll go to the Mentawai Islands, which I would be, I'm so excited for. I've uh, never been there, but it looks so good. So, so it's, it's, it's pretty much guaranteed you're going to go, right? Yeah, I think so. I like how you're saying, until it's locked in, you're not there. No, yeah, but hopefully. I've, okay. it's and then awesome. uh, with the contest scene, you're just going to keep charging, right? Yeah, definitely. I have a few contests this summer, and I'm starting to do some junior pros and QS events, so... Just start kind of building points and get into those bigger contests. All right, Lakey, thank you so much for coming on. Keep yeah. gouging. We like that. It's good <laughs> to see the power. Stick around. We're right back with Participant Media's Disney Nature Oceans Save My Oceans Tour director, Eddie Donaldson, and Planet Logica's artist in residence, Julie B. You're watching The Daily Habit here on Fuel TV.